The Hills is back. So here's a little refresher of what happened to our New Beginnings cast in the OG series. And hey, if you'd rather make yourself cry over someone who wouldn't cry over you, you can binge the whole series now on MTV.com. Wow, we've made it to season six, the final season of the OG series. We begin with Heidi traveling home to Colorado. Yes, that's Heidi. She faces her family for the first time since her plastic surgery. I had my nose redone, my own fat injected into my cheeks, my ears pinned back, injections in my lips. I had my chin shaved down. Um, I had my breasts redone and my back shaped. And then I had a little bit of inner and outer lipo. To nobody's surprise, it doesn't go over too smoothly. I felt that you were much more beautiful before. Things have been rocky between the Pratt siblings. I'm gonna leave, but I didn't get to say hi. How are you guys? Good, how are you? And Stephanie tries to patch things up to no avail. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> what are you crying about, Stephanie? Yeah. What the f are you crying about? No. That's why you're not in my life, you she crazy said. bitch. Because you come to barbecues and just start crying. I was just enjoying myself with my wife, and I get crying sisters in front of me. Audrina is dating none other than American singer, songwriter, and musician Ryan Cabrera, but she may still have a little bit of a crush on Brody. Heidi throws an extravagant birthday party for her neighbor's son, Enzo. Yay! Once again, to no one's surprise, Spencer does what he does best. I'm being so serious right now. I will personally carry Stop you it. off this property. You're fine. He pisses everyone off at the party. Later at the club, Spencer blows up at Audrina. You're the lamest girl in this club. Dude, the relax, bro. With Brody coming to her defense. I'm over it. I don't want to hear anything you have to tell me. You're up in my face, dog. Huh? Spidey's irrational behavior leads their friends and family to make a difficult decision. Yeah, I think I want to cut them out of my life. And that's the last we see of them. But if you haven't gotten your fill of Spidey, don't you worry, because they're back! Ryan, who's having trouble fitting in with the rest of the gang, grows suspicious of how Brody acts towards Audrina. He's like trying to make me jealous. I'm like, really? But no worries. Brody has his eyes on another drama queen. Stephanie isn't sure she's ready for dating, so she goes on a double date, and Ryan gives everyone another chance before heading on tour. And while the cat's away, the mice will play. Translation, say it with me now. Justin Bobby. I can't. I so wish we were done, but we're not because Audrina has the fantastic idea of introducing Justin to Ryan. Eventually, their relationship starts a downward spiral. And on the way down, Audrina does her best to hide her tears. She goes over to Ryan's for a bottle of wine, and we all know what's on her mind. You think we're done? She's done. It's Audrina's birthday and the whole gang boards a boat, where Justin and Audrina have yet another heart-to-heart. -heart. There's not much to say about it. TBH, I'm starting to think Truth and Time doesn't tell all. Congratulations, we've reached 100 episodes. Woo! I've never been so proud in my life. The gang heads to Costa Rica, where Stephanie becomes one with nature. <laughs> you already know the story between Audrina and Justin. Oh, and Brody's there, too. Back in LA, Holly's mom visits, and they both mourn the loss of Heidi in their lives. Stephanie meets a boy named Josh, and for the first time believes she finds true happiness. In the final scene, Brody's girl leaves him, and it's revealed that maybe not everything was unwritten. And that's it. You're all caught up with the OG series. It's finally done. You said it. Cheers! Viva la Hollywood! Betrayed you. Well, maybe I was really hurt by you, bro. Trying to make me look bad. Stephanie, get out of here.